Hey everyone, happy Monday. Just getting on here real quick to do my Monday market update for the Kitsap County area here in Western Washington. I haven't been on here in a while to do a Monday market update um, for quite some time simply because I have just been very, very busy working with both buyers and sellers. I'm still busy, but I figured it'd be good for you guys to know what's really going on in our local uh, real estate market. So, or if you're thinking about relocating to the area, I have you know people calling me, texting me, uh, email me every single day, and helping them, and I absolutely love it. So. If you have any questions, you know, give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email, however you want to get a hold of me, and I would love, love to chat. So uh, let's go ahead and dive right in. So real estate brokers here in our local area are considered essential at this time. We're still being able to show homes, obviously, you know, within, um, you know, strict guidelines as far as social distancing is concerned. But business is still going on, you guys. People still have to buy and sell, and the markets were moving still at a very, very steady pace. So I'm just going to go ahead and jump right in here. I'm gonna give you a breakdown on the activity that we've seen in the last week throughout selected cities in the Kitsap County area. And again, this is only for uh, you know detached single family homes. This does not include condos, vacant land, or rentals. And if I don't cover a city that you're interested in, comment below and I'd be happy to connect and give you the additional information. So let's go ahead, I'm gonna start here with Port Orchard, which is considered South Kitsap. So in the last week, you guys, we had 17 listings um, that have sold, where the, the week uh, prior we had 16. Uh, pending, meaning houses that have gone under contract, we had six uh, in the last seven days, and we only had one the previous week. Now, active new listings, meaning new listings that have come onto the market, fresh new listings, in the last seven days we had 15, and the previous week we were at 14. Um, let's talk about Bremerton, and Bremerton is a very up and coming area. Uh, in the last seven days, we had seven listings that have sold. The week prior, we had three. Pending in Bremerton, we had uh, four that went pending in the last seven days and two the previous week. Active, we had 10 new listings come on in the last seven days and we actually had 10 the previous week. So a good amount coming on the market in the Bremerton area. So if you're looking in Bremerton, um, you know, it's definitely a positive. Now let's talk about Silverdale, which is considered more of your central Kitsap area. Um, and Severdale tends to always be on the real low end as far as um, availability of inventory. So in the last seven days, we had two listings that, that were sold. Pending, um, we had two in the last seven days. And the week previous to this, we actually had zero. Um, active, we had seven uh, that came on the market in the last seven days and seven uh, also the, the previous week. Now let's talk about Paul's Bow. Now again, we're getting more towards the north um, end of the Kitsap County area. Uh, so Paul's Bow sold. We had 10 uh, listings sold in the last seven days and only four the week uh, previous week. Pending, we had three go, um, go pending under contract in the last seven days in Paul's Bow and only one the, the prior week. Um, active, we have had three new listings come on in Paul's Bow in the last seven days and we actually had five the previous week. Um, another important number to know is the average days on market. So right now, and what that means is how long it takes once a home goes on the market to go under contract. The average right now in Kitsap County is sitting at 31. The last time that I did a market update for you guys, um, we were actually sitting at 33. So uh, things are moving, are going, you know, going con under contract even sooner at this point. Along with uh, the average days on market, it's also good to know what the absorption rate is. You know, how much inventory do we actually have? So we're sitting at uh, 1.5 months worth of inventory. And again, the last time that I, that I did a market update for you guys, we were sitting at 1.6. So, and this is going to reflect here in the total number of homes that we have in, uh, for sale in Kitsap County. Right now, in all of Kitsap County, all price ranges, we're sitting at 400, only at 406 listings throughout all of Kitsap. Um, the last time I did a market update for you guys, we were sitting at 529. So inventory is extremely low, extremely low right now, and I think it's partially due to the fact that, you know, we definitely did have some sellers that decided to pull their houses off the market because of, you know, the coronavirus and, you know, what we're, what we're dealing with at this point in time. So let's talk about the average um, house price in Kitsap County has not dropped at all. Um, we're still sitting for the average at $385,000, which is up 10% year over year. And along with that, I want to go ahead and kind of, if you're a buyer, you want to give you an idea on a breakdown of the different price ranges throughout Kitsap County to give you an idea of the inventory levels and as a buyer, what you have to work with. Okay. So in the 200 to $250,000 price range here in Kitsap County, there are a total 
of um, seven listings right now. There were six the previous week. We're now sitting at seven. So seven homes in the $200,000 to $250,000 range. It's not a lot to pick from, okay? That's just reality. Um, in the $250,000 to $300,000 price range, there are 15 homes. And the previous week, we had 13. So again, that's gone up a little bit. And again, these are numbers for single detached family homes. Uh, in the 300 to 350,000 price range, uh, we have 45 homes. The previous week we were at 52 homes, so that actually has come down a little bit. And if you're in the 400 to 500,000 dollar price range, we're sitting right now at 75, and the previous week we were at 70, so that's actually gone up a little bit. But as you can still see, the number, the inventory numbers are still, ex you know, extremely low. Now, if you're a first-time home buyer. There are many down payment assistance programs available um, that you may qualify for. The traditional 20% down, you know, down payment may not be needed. And so it's really important if you're a first time home buyer or if you're any buyer um, to make sure you're working with a knowledgeable lender that can really match you up with the, the best program and the best product that's going to fit your needs um, and give you the best interest rate for your situation. So if you need a good lender, just let me know and I would be happy to recommend. And I, again, I hope this kind of gives you some insight into our local market um, here locally. Make sure that, you know, you want to make sure you hit that subscribe button down below so that you're kept up to date as I send, you know, new videos out weekly on uh, the market update in the area and just generally living in Western Washington, eating, sleeping, you know, living and playing. And um, thank you for tuning in. And I definitely will see you guys next week.